the base of your spine, what I call sourcing and urgings, you receive the Five of Cups. This card is associated with a lot of D words. Despondency, denial, disappointment, displacement. Something happened or a chain of events happened connected to emotions and with it being cups too, it could be emotions and love of some sort. This is also a grief card. Grief goes through many stages. Denial, anger, negotiations with God. If I do this, will you do that? When that doesn't happen, it's depression. And then it's the ultimate need that you have is acceptance. You have to accept what happened. You can't change it. You just accept it and work around it. Let's see what the clarification card is. You have the Knight of Pentacles. He's the slowest knight in the court. He moves along and accumulates things. And everybody thinks it's money, something connected to money and wealth. But really, wealth is health. And this has also to do with family, health, and well-being. And here I'm thinking, since he's the slowest knight in the court, he wants you to move slow and accept things as you go along. And I think you you are, actually. And you're feeling a little better about this, but you know what happened, and it's still in your mind unconsciously. Here up in the sacrum or the pelvic, what I'm calling awakening and arousing. It's the knight of swords. That's you. Libra is air. Swords is air. And you're the king now. You've taken control. You're not the knight anymore, the immature knight anymore. You're the king. You're the ultimate authority. And since you're under control, you are spiritually advancing, growing in many ways. You're not allowing the Five of Cups to affect your progress spiritually and even sexually. Let's see what the clarification card is. Oh, my God, this went up another octave. It's the King of Swords again. You got two of the same cards. So just in case you missed it, there it is. You are now the ultimate authority overseeing your life. You're in control, and you are growing. Up here in the solar plexus, and you're sensing and feeling, you see the Three of Wands. It's a card of motion. Something, the, the gears are going around, the wheels are turning. You've made some decisions, and you're moving forward. You are the king. Plans are being made. Everything's falling into place. And you're going to ultimately succeed. And the clarification card is the Ace of Wands. It's giving you the universal green light that, yes, this is new beginnings. You have to sow the seeds and have it sprout and tend the garden and work hard for an abundance that's around the corner. Here at the heart of the matter, the Five of Swords. This is about victory, but winning costs way more than the battle. Something went wrong. This is what I call a pyrific victory. Pyrrhus was a king and a general of Greece, and he fought Rome. And he won, but the victory was so costly, it really wasn't worth the battle. And here, too, is that people laid their swords down and thought this, 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 the fight just is not worth it. And they just move on. And what happens is, is that you lose family and friends. Co-workers make distance between you because they don't want to be with you anymore because you're constantly combative. This might not be you. This might be somebody else in your life. Let's see what the clarification card is. The Page of Cups. He's the immature, childish person that fantasizes and has his head in the clouds. And this could be personifying the person that's combative and, and getting into battles when really it's not worth it. 
He's also about messages. And he can bring profound messages, sometimes of passion and love, but his he's offering a cup of some kind of chance or opportunity. But it has strings attached to it. It has emotions attached to it. Let's see what else is this. The story isn't done here. Down here at the throat, when I'm considering communicating and teaching, the Two of Pentacles, something about making decisions and juggling the decisions. But it's not about money. It's about well-being in your life and how you feel about your life, and what you've been taught and right and wrong and good and bad. Somewhere there's some ideas or decisions that have to be made. Let's see what the clarification card is. And here it's the Empress. What an excellent place to have her. You have the the magician, which is one that is, is a conscious manifester of earthly things. And then number two is the high priestess, which is the unconscious heavenly connection. And number three is the Empress, which is the connection of all of it. She's melding spirit, mind, and body. She brings the senses of pleasure and fulfillment of life and the power of unconditional love. But she also symbolizes Venus. You'll see the shield down here. And Venus is the morning star that rises in the east or sets in the west and symbolizes the duality of endings and beginnings. So you have a decision to make about your well-being and you're ending something and you're beginning something. And we saw that here too with the Ace of Wands, that there is a beginning. Here at the third eye, or what I'm considering envisioning and seeing, at the Ten of Wands. Ten is endings and beginnings, but it's saying, oh yeah, it was a rough road. There was a lot of responsibility. The load was heavy. You probably too, took too much on, but it's coming to an end. And that's going along with the endings and new beginnings. Let's see what the clarification card is. Oh my, you received the Five of Swords again, so you receive two Five of Swords. And you also have the Five of Cups down here that's associated to it. So yeah, it's ending, and you want this Five of Swords, the costly battles to end. You don't want them anymore in your life. Maybe you were fantasizing that it was okay to have it, have the, that happen for you to be this person or for somebody in your life to be this person, but it isn't, and you want it to end. Up here in the crown, what I consider knowing and understanding, another wand card, the seven of wands. It, it's saying you succeeded, but you're still defending yourself from this five of swords, the two five of swords. People are scrutinizing you and want to find something wrong with what you're doing. Especially when you succeed and you're on top of the hill and you're, you have to battle people underneath you. If you're a manager or doing things in your office at home. See what the clarification card is. You receive the Nine of Pentacles. How nice. She's a replete person. It can be a male or female, but very accomplished stable, financially stable, but just stable. And this is coming in with the well-being of the pentacles that I discussed, that everything is going well and you feeling independent, regardless if people are scrutinizing you and trying to feel like you're doing something wrong. It doesn't matter to you. Let's see what you're... And your past card is the Page of Cups. So you got the Page of Cups twice. In your past, there's been, I'm picking up that it's not you, but somebody else, a very immature person that has done a lot of swooping with the, the sword for words and has been very nasty, maybe in, even very gossipy, a gossip monger. But this person is not your friend and has made a lot of trouble in your life. And here again, always the the cup of peace and opportunity, but I don't know, I would be very careful by accepting any more of what this person is offering. 
Here in the future, you have the Ten of Cups. You have succeeded. You are the, the king of your spiritual and personal growth. Here you're sensing that there is new beginnings. But somebody or something has been holding you back and the battles just have not been worth it. You know, cut your losses, throw your sword down, and walk away from this person because here the Ten of Cups is saying you have ultimate happiness, shared happiness that can happen in your life and take advantage of it. See the card that represents the overall energy or the outcome of the reading is the Two of Swords. Here it is. You have a sword decision. You have a word decision. You have to tell somebody what's happening inside you. You have two opposing forces that are being, and it's very conflicting because I think there's some emotions involved in this, but you do have to make a decision because whatever these two page of cups and whatever battles is going on with these two five of swords is stopping some part of your progress as a person, even though you're making excellent progress. Okay, the Doreen Virtue messages from the Angels card is Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deep into the situation but before proceeding further. So yeah, you know, take a little bit of time to think this over. You're at endings and new beginnings. Make sure when you start making decisions that you make good decisions before you proceed. Well, I think you're... The top left-hand card for what you know, receive the Wheel of Fortune. Everybody likes to receive the wheel. It's an indication that the fates of fortune are, are on your side. The wheel's on an upswing. And it's your turn to feel good and have things fall into place and bring success, accomplishments. Change is at hand right now. It, it might not be very dramatic, but it's going to be dramatic enough that it might change the status quo of how you've been living your life. But I also feel like there's some old baggage that has to be thrown over the side of the boat. Something from the past. The present is already the future, and the past is always present in our lives. But we can't let the past haunt us. For us not to look forward yet for the unknown future. The face of the wheel is out of your hands. It's from destiny to fate. It's it's something that's been predetermined. It's kind of strange, too, because the goddess Fortuna, who oversaw the wheel, changed the, tip, the position of the fates as the wheel spun. So can you consider that random? Now, the clarification card is the Seven of Pentacles. I, I call this almost a harvest card. You're in a precarious time right now. As a farmer, you know, everything's ripe. It's almost ready to harvest, but so many things can happen. You could have rain, hail, flood, freezing. This is a time that you have to be ever so vigilant over your crops or what you want to harvest to make sure it comes to fruition. And you receive the abundance for all your hard work and with it conjoined with the Wheel of Fortune, it appears there's going to be fortune and abundance coming, if you watch your P's and Q's anyway. Now here in what can be or is yours, receive the Ace of Cups. Love is coming. Happiness. It's like a holy grail waiting to be filled with, with some kind of blessings. It's wanting you to manifest more deeper feelings and relationships and it doesn't have to be love affairs necessarily it can be with family and friends too but the tides are yearning for you to accomplish your dreams for joy and peace and love and happiness bring that but the clarification card is the ten of swords somewhere there was some problems you been betrayed stabbed in the back 
something happened. Maybe you have some guilt or other people, remorse. Whatever it is, it's a pain in your heart. But you're going to have to overlook that. Now up on the top right for self and self-awareness, you are going to overlook this pain because the, the 10 card is the card of endings and new beginnings. And here for self and self-awareness, you receive that Ace of Swords. It's a new beginning, but you have to be very, very careful with the Ace of Swords because it's a two-edged sword. It's intellect that can impose justice or support evil machinations. You can, it can heal or harm. You can have kindness or malice. And perhaps this is kind of a layover from the Ten of Swords where maybe you want a little bit of revenge or you're hurt enough that there's going to be some cutting edges of, of hurtful things that you're going to lash out at certain people because of this. But the clarification card is another 10 card for endings and new beginnings. And it's saying, yeah, you've carried a heavy load. It, this has been bothering you. Whatever happened in the interim with the Ten of Swords has bothered you. It's bothered you enough that you think you did too much in some respects for other people and not enough maybe for yourself. But the future card is the Two of Wands, and it's saying, yeah, this is a new beginning. Two, for me, means decision, partnership, balance. And here this man is looking over the horizon with the world in his hand, and he's realizing now he has so many opportunities, so many things, but right now nothing is being done. You're just in the planning stage. You want to move forward with these ideas that you have, and new opportunities. Because the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups are bringing opportunities. The Wheel of Fortunes, the Wheel of Fortune is bringing opportunities and good opportunities. Now all you have to do is decide what you want to do.